in Dollar Tree. I'm going to give this another chance, okay? I, I'm not going to lie. I did get frustrated and I threw it out. Um, I used it with the Swifter Wet Jet or, and also Dollar Tree's version of that. And I didn't like it. But I didn't see these rewashable microfiber pads. And they also have this um, microfiber dust mopper pad. So I'm going to give it another chance. I've seen people haul these, but this is the first time that I'm actually seeing these in Dollar Tree. These remind me of the cookies that they give you on the airplanes. We'll go great with some coffee. Never seen this before. These look like coffee monster drinks. Um, I don't know. It just looks like it would give me heart palpitations, but I'm just sharing. Perfect size seashells. And such a great variety for a dollar. I've been seeing some really cool nautical themed DIYs. Yeah, pretty cool. Very good deal. Finally found the candles with the poof on top. It looks like they have four different ones. From what I'm hearing is the smell isn't that great, but look at the packaging. How cute is that? Okay, I'm seeing the fat quarter fabric that I've seen hauled on other YouTube channels. Um, kid themes, perfect for making homemade masks, perfect for making pillows, or if you're really good at sewing, clothes, children's clothes, but pretty cute. I'm looking at the summer fun and summer toys section, as you can see, it's looking kind of bare. That's why you got to jump on these items when they come out, because... They go fast and when you're looking for them summertime they're gone and then you have to go to target or another store and spend more money this store has almost well yeah i think the whole collection of the lemon dinnerware passing by on my last lap around the store i found these antibacterial wet wipes and again I've been down this aisle maybe once or twice and past this area maybe three times so I always find things on the last lap it doesn't have a restriction uh, sometimes it's limit one sometimes it's up to limit four so it really depends on the store first time I'm seeing these foldable compact reading glasses this is the only one that I'm seeing this is pretty cool hey guys how you guys doing happy Sunday uh, Memorial Day weekend, definitely a different Memorial Day than I think we have ever experienced or even last year. Um, I really don't have any plans, honestly. I mean, hubby's doing a double today, um, which means when he comes home in the morning, he's going to need to sleep. And with the restrictions they have on the beaches that are open... If you don't get there early, they're limiting capacity. Um, I think this is our first Memorial Day actually uh, having off together tomorrow. Um, just due to work schedules. I really can't remember. But uh, other than that, I just, I just bought a grill because we did not have a grill. And um, Mr. Fuller wanted one. And it's not just for Memorial Day. You could use it whenever. Um, so I found this really cool grill from Walmart that folds up. It's really a nice size grill and it folds up. I'm going to show you guys a pic here. And plus I like the color. It was really, really cool. A blue grill. They also, on the internet, i seen it, it comes in two other colors. Red, which i seen in the store, but I've had a red grill before, and I think red is just, you know, it's not different to me. And also, they had this really cool bright lime green, which I probably would have got because uh, Mr. Fuller likes lime green. But other than that, we're just going to do something small at the house. Maybe, you know, my sister and my brother-in-law, who we have not seen since... Um, his mother's funeral um maybe they might want to stop by um but it's just going to be really really low-key seriously 
small pan of potato salad, macaroni salad, hamburgers, hot dogs, chicken, maybe ribs. Okay, so I'm not trying to go too crazy, just very, very low key. But whatever you guys do, I hope that you guys are safe and you enjoy yourself. Let's get into this really quick Dollar Tree haul. Um, a few surprise finds. Um, I won't say wish list items, but things that, you know, I was interested in that I've seen in other Dollar Tree hauls and also um, online. Let's get into it. I've seen people haul these Lotus Biscoff cookies. This reminds me of the cookies they give you on the airplane. I know, um, I think Delta. Yeah, I think Delta gives these cookies out. It might not be the same brand, but it is similar. So I only got one pack. They did have more. How many cookies come in here? It's individual snacks pack. So it's six two count packs in here. Pretty cool. Okay. When I was waiting on the line, I seen these folding readers, which is something. Let me just show you how it looks from this side. Okay, Dollar Tree has always had readers. For some reason, whenever I've you know tried them on, they were blurry. These didn't give me that blur. This is a 1.50 I guess uh, magnification um, and it's really cool how they open up guys and they're like rubbery so I guess you really got to be careful look now they're together pretty cool so I did pick them up I couldn't leave them behind um, and I'm going to try these out because I, I do need a little bit of help now I do need a little bit of help. Um, let's stick to food. I found these Cheddar Jack Cheez-Its. Again, these are not for me. I just don't like Cheez-Its, even though I love cheese. And I like crackers, so why wouldn't I like it? I don't know. Um, but I don't want to like them, because then I'll be eating them. So, um, just to add to the snack stash at home, Mr. Fuller and my uh, man boy that lives with me likes them. Um, just picked up two more Lunchables, okay? Just check your expiration dates. These are good till July 4th. I have seen some in the store that said April. Just check your expiration dates. I know I tell you guys all the time and then I break the rules. Do I have anything else in food? I just picked this up. I don't know. I, this is brisk strawberry melon. It says iced tea, so I'm curious. Um, let me see on the ingredients if it says what kind of tea it is or is it just a flavored drink oh it says it has green tea in it i don't know it was just i was online and it was down the aisle and i picked it up i hate that they have you lining up down the aisles because i think you put more things in the cart now um just in case we're outside i think i pulled this also last week i have pulled this in the past this is the flying insect killer to me you don't get a lot of product but it's a dollar but um kills on contact water-based formula um, again, I don't do bugs, so if I'm going to be outside, and even if it rains, because it's kind of like an overcast today, uh, on the side deck, there's a large awning, so we still could barbecue if we wanted to. Um, for the barbecue, since I've been talking about it, I picked up two packs of these cups. Um, I think Aldi's has a better deal. I think you get 50 cups for under $3, red cups, but... You know what? Again, small crowd. I really don't care. I did get these table clamps uh, for your tablecloths. Isn't that annoying when you put a tablecloth on the table and it's flying all over the place? And Dollar Tree has these every year. I finally picked them up. They came in other colors. I did see red and I did see blue. Um, but I'm just sticking to basic white, okay? Because you know I'm matchy-matchy and white goes with everything. Um, we have no grill tools, so uh, I picked up these tongs, which I thought was different because not only is it a tongue, but it's also a spatula. So yeah, pretty cool. Picked that up from Kitchen Concepts. Oh. The, the paper came off of this, so I don't know. These just are tongs, but they have these things on the end, so maybe, I don't know. I just thought it would look it looked like a grill accessory that you might need, so I did pick these up. I did pick up these tongs, and I do have metal tongs at home, but these are just a little bit longer, so I guess to protect you from the heat. Okay, so I did pick these up. 
and I did get this grill cleaning brush even though I would cover the grill with aluminum foil um, but I don't know I just like I said just look like gr uh, grill accessories that you know we might need I don't plan to do the grilling I'll do the prep and everything else but I don't plan to do the grilling I just got two regular red basic tablecloths Dollar Tree did have um, you know the patriotic Memorial Day decorations that could be used for Fourth of July or Memorial Day um, but I just got plain red from the party section they have tons of colors and I just got one pack of these napkins again because I don't know if anybody's coming over so it could just be a barbecue for two or three or four maybe six I don't know so I just got one pack of napkins okay nobody could come <laughs> um what else I just got basic plates okay I'm tired of the styrofoam plates even though I buy them from Dollar Tree on a regular basis um but I just thought these would be better the square plates you get 16 plates for a dollar so I got two packs of them and that is it in the barbecue accessory. Uh, I didn't pick up any cleaning items because I have tons and tons and tons and tons of cleaning items. Thank God I don't need cleaning supplies for a while now. But what I did pick up, so this is in the cleaning section. I mean, but I didn't pick up any chemicals. But I did, I'm going to give this another try. I did buy it, got frustrated and threw it in the damn garbage. Um, it has the uh, catchers so if you have like the Swifter wet jet pads or Dollar Tree's version you can put them there but what I didn't see before were these reusable microfiber mop pads that you can wash okay um, when I got it the first time okay so I did pick up two pads okay just and you can throw them in the wash you know and I, I'm giving this another chance, okay? Um, I did buy the handle. They have these really cool uh, broom handles that you can use for mops, this, whatever. And I'll show you that in a second. So I am going to give that another try. I also randomly found these travel pack of the Assured antibacterial wet wipes um, with vitamin E and aloe. You get 40 they said no restriction so I bought three and I was hoping when I got to the register you know some of the the cashiers you know they just take their job way too serious don't get mad at me for saying that but some of them can be aggressive I'm sorry but I'm, I'm telling you the truth some not all so if you're a Dollar Tree employee I'm not speaking about all of you but there are some I don't know if they don't like their job they're just angry but some are not that friendly and when it comes to these restrictions they like it's like, okay, calm down. If it's two, it's two, you know? But forget about it. I'm not even going to tell you my... I, I told you my horror story before. Um, so anyway, um, they, there was no sign that said limit two. So I bought three, okay? Again, if she would have told me at the register, you only could buy one, then it would only been one. But I took my chance and I did get three. Let me just clear my lap. And it doesn't just have to be Dollar Tree employees I find some Walmart employees to be very very aggressive or not that friendly and then some are the best so uh, please I'm not making generalized statements but hold on let me pause for one second I mean if you have a good broom but your handle you know sometimes this like I think my broom handle at home this piece fell off or whatever like that but this is a nice sleek black broom handle okay and you could use it for any of those items that they have now. They have nice mop heads. Um, the the uh, what, what, are, what are they calling this? It's the Essentials Wet Dry Flat Mop Head. Okay, so you can use it for this. And again, it has the Velcro, and you just stick the pad to it like that. And this rotates 360 so that's pretty cool for a buck I'm gonna give it another chance I, I just don't think it worked well maybe it was the Dollar Tree wet pads maybe they were a little bit too thin I don't know I just got frustrated and I threw it the hell away um want to show you a few surprise finds things that I was really interested in but I wasn't going crazy 
but I did haul two of these candles. On the end store, I showed you the, um, they have four different ones. Um, the smell is kind of, I don't know. I heard that they really didn't have a good smell. I'm trying to see who makes these. This is a Dollar Tree product. This is a Greenbrier product. So I got two. This might match with my nautical bathroom. Um, if not, maybe I can gift it. Uh, I don't have really anything in this color scheme in my house. Um, this white definitely would look nice in my bedroom. I'm um, next to my bed. Maybe I should have got more than one, but just the packaging is the cutest, okay? Even if you get them and you don't do nothing. I have a girlfriend who loves candles, and she will spend, you know, she loves Yankee candles. She loves uh, Bath and Body Works candles, but she doesn't burn them. You know, she just likes them, I guess. I don't know. So if you're just that type that you just want this to sit on your shelf for home decor, go for it. It's cute. Hold on, guys. Let me find it. Okay, I'm back. All right, this is something that I wanted. It's a hard candy makeup item. I did not see anybody pull this color, um, but I wanted it. It's called Metal Glaze 12 Hour Intense Liquid Foil. You can use it on your brows, your eyes, or your lips. And gold is, I do a lot of makeup looks with uh, gold, okay? You can't go wrong with gold. The one who I have been seeing online was like a charcoal gray, which I still would like to find, okay? But this is hot, okay? So happy I found it. And you know, next month is my, no, not next month. I'm thinking we're in June already. July is my birthday month. That's going to be a cosmetic giveaway. So um, this might be in it. I don't know. I don't know. But I was so happy to find this. Um, yeah. And I didn't see anything new in the cosmetic department. Uh, down the craft aisle, I did find these fat quarters. And I have bought a fat, fat quarters from Walmart before. It's 18 by 21 inches. Cool fabric. Okay, and um, these are the most gender neutral patterns because I'm going to make some, um, I want to make a mask for chunk, but whatever you would like to do with this fabric, do it. Make pillows, whatever you want to do. Um, it'd be great if you had like, you know, somebody who was having a baby and you wanted to make a pillow, pillows for the nursery, you know, whatever. Or you could use it to make masks. So I did get those two. And did I show you? I can't remember, guys. Just in case if I'm showing you twice, I'm showing you twice. I did finally find Thousand Count um, Toilet Tissue. Never seen this brand before. Never seen this brand before, though. Okay, so finally found Thousand Count Toilet Tissue. Um, yeah. Prime Select. I got four of these. And this haul is a collective haul from two Dollar Trees. So before I got to the Thousand Count Dollar Tree, I just picked this up, okay? And I do have toilet tissue, but I'm trying to save my more expensive toilet tissue. I'm trying to save my Scott. Even I, I also have bounty paper towels. And the only reason why I have those is because Mr. Fuller is a name brand person and he purchased them from BJ's. So I have not really used that. I'm trying to put that as emergency stash. And as long as I can find the brands that I get from Dollar Tree, um, I'm using those first. Okay. So um, that's it. That's my haul, guys. A quick haul. I hope you guys have a great Memorial Day. Let me get extra, extra, extra.